Coming up on Raider Vision, the drama department is hosting a production of The Servant of Two Masters, and we recap the senior art show. I'm Claire Russell, and this is Raider Vision. Last week, we held our senior art show. Reporter Katie Lewis from our sister site, The Raider Voice, has more. One end of the gym holds a scattering of desks ready for overflow classes, but the other is a dazzling display of student-produced visual art available for members of the school community to walk through and observe, as this year's art show takes place over three days this week. Seniors spent Monday setting up their own exhibits. It was much easier than other years because we had to use this black cloth instead of a white paper. Um, and it was also a lot easier because of the fact that it was just seniors, but it was, it was still challenging. The nearly 15 total exhibits featured were created throughout the year in art courses ranging from AP drawing to architecture, sculpture, and more. Seniors creatively designed and constructed their own exhibits. I wanted to just portray how could I like how I could showcase things frozen in time. So I loved making objects and like animals. Um, so I just kind of thought of those ideas like that. Some students, such as senior Chloe Hernandez, integrated both visual and auditory elements into their exhibits to give observers an out of the box viewing experience. I kind of got really like bored of my 2D work um, in the middle of my senior year. And I really wanted to find a different outlet that I could use creatively to express like something, I just wanted to be making things that like wasn't necessarily painting. So um, this was a little bit different and it, like that difference kind of interested me. Students who walked through the displays enjoyed viewing their friends and classmates art. Seeing all of this art from my upperclassmen is really inspiring to me as an artist. And I think it's really interesting to see how they were once freshmen with the same teacher and then now they make such beautiful art. Despite challenges, our teachers were excited to call this year's art show a success. We wanted to give this opportunity to the seniors, so this is a big, big deal. However, we had some difficulties, we had some things that we wish we could have done differently, the way we have always done it. They have grown so much of art as artists, as people, and it shows through their work. I'm so happy that they had the opportunity to display their work. This has been Katie Lewis reporting to you for the Raider Voice. The Senior Sunrise is this Thursday. Seniors will enjoy a catered breakfast to celebrate the transition to college. The event will take place at the Sean Taylor Memorial Field from 5.30 to 7.45 a.m. Cap and gowns will also be available for pickup. Former police officer Derek Chauvin, who was involved in the George Floyd case, was found guilty in a trial which took place last week. Reporter Carlos Escatet has more. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second-degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count two, third-degree murder perpetrating an eminently dangerous act, find the defendant guilty. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count three, second-degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. On Tuesday the 20th, Derek Chauvin's murder trial has finally come to an end. He has been found guilty on all three charges and the American public has reacted. Gulliver faculty and students have different opinions on how this will impact our society. Yeah, I think it'll set an example for change. Uh, I think it is in impactful because I feel like it's just society and, and the government stepping its ground and telling enough is enough. It's going to be a close step into reform and it's going um, to help make the U.S. go into the right direction. I think it's a breakthrough, and I think it's gonna. Um, I think it's really gonna uh, further the BLM mu movement and any civil rights movement. In the short term, I think it, it provides some sort of relief or or hope uh, for you know for our country. But I think in the long term, it's still you know it's it's got it's not gonna weigh in. I think as much as people think in terms of like all the policy changes that have to happen. I think the impact of the verdict is that it is making a lot of us and a lot of you think a lot more about what we want the future to look like and what we and you are willing to do to make it look that way. Only time will tell if the results of the trial will actually make a difference. 
For Raider Vision, I'm Carlos Escotet. The Drama Department is hosting The Servant of Two Masters. The show will be available for streaming Friday, May 21st through the 30th. Tickets can be purchased at gulliver.life slash two masters. Email Jessica Fox for more information. Now to Priya with sports. The Varsity Boys baseball team went to Southwest Senior High last week to face off against the Eagles. They are in their 11th win of the season, beating them 6-0. The boys and girls tennis team had regional semifinals last week. The boys came out with the win 5-0 against Hylia Miami Lakes, and the girls defeated Miami Springs 5-0. The girls tennis team went on to win the regional championship against the South 4-1. The girls will be competing at the state championship tournament on Wednesday in Orlando. Good luck to the girls. The varsity boys lacrosse team had a tough loss against Belen 8-7 in the first round of regionals. They finished the season with a record of 14-5. and five. Now here's the weather. As a high-pressure system passes eastward over Florida, we can expect dry conditions for this week with daily temperatures in the highs of mid-80s and lows in the 70s to go along with partly cloudy skies and stronger than usual wind from the east. Thanks, Arthur. That's all for Raider Vision. I'm Claire Russell. Stick around for student election results from Activities Director Danielle Bowen. We'll see you next time. Good morning, Raiders. I'm Ms. Bowen, the Director of Student Activities, and I'm here to give you the results of the student government voting that you all did on Friday. So first of all, congratulations to all of the candidates and congratulations to you, Raiders, because you turned out in record numbers to vote for your peers as your representatives for the 21-22 school year. So here we go. The sophomore class social media coordinator will be Vicki Figueroa. The sophomore class secretary will be Sammy Gitlin. The VP for the 10th grade class next year will be Ella Rose Delgado. And the presidential role was too close to count. So there's going to be a runoff between Sophia Molinari and Ivan Pankov. Those ballots will be sent out this week so that you ninth graders can vote for your 10th grade president soon. Going into next year's juniors, the social media coordinator is Leah Fletcher. The 11th grade secretary will be Gabby Limus. The 11th grade vice president is a runoff as well between Ale Pena and Aria Toretta. And the president for the junior class next year will also be a runoff between Alex Frenzy and Josh Trattler. So that ballot will go to you sophomores for next year's VP and president. We'll get that out to you this week as well. For the senior class, the secretary is Diego Torres Platt. The vice president will be Evan Abril. The Miller campus president is Nina Starvaji. And the senior class president at the upper school is Aliyah Rakowskis. And the student body officers uh, who represent the entire school. Uh, the historian is Lucy Duchenne. The student body secretary, Ava Mesa. The vice president role will go to Maddie Hughes. Sebi Fernandez will be the student body representative at Miller campus and the student body president at the upper school representing all Gulliver students is Mr. Mateo Wakeman. Congratulations to everyone. Look for those ballots for the runoffs this week. Thanks. <laughs>